meditation and diet. There is definitely a link between meditation and diet, both in terms of what meditation does to your own dietary requirement and what diet does to you, the quality and of your meditation. So if we look at meditation and diet, if your meditation has been taught by someone who themselves have had a lineage and an understanding in personal practice and teach you meditation in terms of right or correct or healthy meditation, then the meditation, the act of meditation always blossoms into compassion and self-compassion. And self-compassion and compassion make you more sensitive. So you will find very often that those people who have a consistent practice will become sensitive to certain types of food. And in my experience, I have noticed many times that individuals will um, focus more on vegetarian uh, diets, vegan diets, dairy feedra diets, not because of ethical choices, but simply because of a sensitivity that they've cultivated within themselves, which when they have those products and those, um, uh, th those food types actually uh, create a sense of um, uh, not being well, a sense of unpleasantness, suffering within themselves. So mindfulness and meditation is definitely linked with diet. Meditation leads to vegetarianism. Vegetarians don't necessarily make good meditators. Uh, how does diet affect our meditation? Another way diet affects our meditation is that there are certain foods that will definitely disturb your mental state. So foods that contain hormones which are associated with fear, like for example, uh, hormones that are um, already entrenched in the flesh of an animal that's been killed, um, then those hormones themselves will make your meditation quality different. So foods such as flesh products, meat products, eggs, those kind of things tend to have an impact on your meditation and the quality of meditation. So meditation is impacted by food and food uh, is impacted by meditation.